what happens when we don't have enough oxygen and how to utilize that glucose? So fermentation, I'm sure that you've heard about it. We have alcoholic fermentation. It's not always about the wine and beer and so forth, even though, yes, that's how those drinks are made. But as you notice here, the bread, it has little holes, how those holes are made. Well, if we don't have oxygen, then the process of utilizing the glucose is turning into two possible, there are two possible options for it. In the case of the yeast that we're using to make bread, the carbon dioxide is released, and as the dough is growing, it is actually just injecting the carbon dioxide in it, which is making those bubbles. As a result, if you're making bread, you already probably observed that the dough after a while, after it rises, is actually smelling like an alcohol because alcohol really is released. So the ethanol is the result of the anaerobic processing of the glucose or alcoholic fermentation. How come we, that we don't get drunk when we are eating the bread? Well, simply because to bake the bread, denaturation of the proteins happens, which means that the process, that, that all the yeast that was there was blocked. It's not alive anymore, so there is no one to build that alcohol. Alcohol has low temperature um, of the evaporation, so it's already evaporated. And all that is left over of the carbon dioxide are those uh, holes in the bread that makes bread really soft and, and yummy. How about lactic acid? I need to say about lactic acid from two points of views. One of them is, for instance, making any dairy products. That is the process where the glucose is broken down and forms three carbon lactic acid. But lactic acid is something that can be really painful if it's on the wrong spot. So if you were over, over exercising or doing something that you don't usually do, a little bit pushing over the limits, mitochondria that is present in your muscles may not be able to convert all the glucose into the carbon dioxide and water and have all that energy that is uh, released during the Krebs cycle and, and electron transport chain. What is happening, we are getting into emergency mode, which means that we are utilizing glycolysis as a process and the lactic acid is produced in our muscles you have noticed that lactic acid has three carbons, carbon atoms, the same as the, same as the uh, pyruvate, right? So that muscle-like that happens is that your cells are actually burned by the lactic acid. Lactic acid needs to be transferred through the bloodstream into the liver where the enzymes are going to convert lactic acid into pyruvate and then utilizing to form the glucose and the glycogen in order to, to heal. So that the process that takes for our muscles to recover is the process that takes all that buildup of the lactic acid, which is the absence of the oxygen, uh, build during the absence of the oxygen and uh, to transform it back into pyruvate. Now, the more we exercise, the more mitochondria is made in our muscles, and therefore there is less buildup of the lactic acid, right? Um, the energy utilization from one glucose, if, if it enters the Krebs cycle, 36 to 38 molecules of ATP, right? Glycolysis yields only two ATP. And that is why this process is only beta. Only if we don't have excess of oxygen, that is when our body goes into production of the lactic acid. Thank you.